Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all, 2,000 years from the dark reaches of another galaxy. A demon with not a shred of compassion for humankind descended upon the Earth. He defiled the land, sending vile creatures to live in it, and thus became ruler of the world. The king of Felashika, appalled by what had happened, prayed to the spirit of the holy land of Zeliad for help in defeating this monster. With the help of the holy crystals called the Tears of Esmezanti, the king managed to wrest power from the fiend and seal him deep within the bowels of the earth. And once again, the light of peace came to shine upon the earth. However, it is written in the sixth book of Esmesanti, the Age of Darkness. Uh, I had a feeling that was supposed to continue. Oh, oh, your teeth are wonderful. Beware, shall I shall awake from my sleep of two thousand years and once again reign over the world. Blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zelliard. Now, Zelliard, I've never really heard of before until it was mentioned offhandedly as a reference in Leisure Suit Larry. Five, when you look at a computer and it's like, oh, I bet we could play Zelliard for ages on this. And I'm like, what the heck is Zelliard? And then I looked up and then found out that it was a game released in Japan in, what, 87 for like the NEC, I think it was. I, I forgot the actual name of it. It was like an old personal computer that was really popular in Japan. And then Sierra, I, I think they either localized it or they just republished it in the U.S., which I didn't even know that they did. Like, that was a thing that Sierra did. So this is Zelliard. The music in this game is wonderful. So it's a very, very Japanese ar uh, action RPG. But uh, it's actually really impressive. I had to practice with this a little bit before I even gave this a shot. Oh, that's cool. So before you even start, you get to see the uh, closing credits. I guess that's cool. Yeah, extremely Japanese game. But yeah, we'll get to the credits when we actually deserve them. Once... Long ago, a terrible storm came to the land of Zeliard. Dark clouds filled the sky. Lightning flashed and thunder crashed. Cauldrons bubbled. Day after day, rain poured from the heavens as if in lament. On the seventh day of rain, a beautiful young girl stood on her balcony watching this dark, sad rain. The girl was Princess Felicia La Felashica, for she was the only daughter of King Felashika and the light of his life. Something awful is going to happen to her, isn't it? Her smiles were like sunshine, her voice as beautiful of that as an angel. She was adored by the people of the kingdom. Yeah, she's doomed. What a dreadful storm. Will it never end? Why, I have the voice of an angel. Just as the princess spoke these words, the raindrops turned to grains of sand which covered the ground below her. That's blood rain, I know the difference. As she watched, a startling transformation began to take place. In an instant, the green hills and plains turned a dusty brown. So it's drought rain? Trees and flowers crumpled and were buried. Rivers and lakes disappeared beneath the sand. This evergreen land was turning to desert before her very eyes. How can this be, she cried. What evil power should cause such a terrible thing to happen? Princess Felicia shivered as she felt a dark presence near her. And suddenly, a terrifying voice bellowed as loud as thunder. I am Jashin, the Emperor of Chaos. The descendants of those who imprisoned me under the earth shall know that my wrath has smoldered for two thousand years. Beautiful Princess Felicia, you will make a lovely and terrifying symbol of my awakening. Your father shall not make the mistakes of his ancestors. As the words of the demon resounded over the land, Princess Felicia was turned to stone. The rain of sand continued for 108 days and transformed the once fertile land into desert. The people of the kingdom wept at the terrible fate of their country and of their princess. The king wept most of all. Oh, my beloved Felicia, I fear the age of darkness is upon us. I am powerless to stop it. 
and powerless to help you. Oh, he is crying. Look at that. But the tears of the king and his people soon awakened another power. As the king grieved, an apparition appeared before him. I am the guardian spirit of the holy land of Zeliad. The demon Jashin has been resurrected, and indeed, his evil magic will plunge this world into the age of darkness once again. Heed my words, King Velashika. There is but one way to stop this demon. A brave warrior must venture into the labyrinths and recover the nine holy crystals, the tears of Amasanti. Many terrible creatures dwell within the labyrinths, all of them Jashin's minions. No mortal man could defeat these deadly beasts and wrest the crystals from them. However, there is one with the power to oppose Jashin. The man who is destined to fight them will soon arrive in your kingdom. This man is the only being strong enough to banish Jashin forever. You must await the arrival of this brave and noble knight and tell him everything. Only with his help can you hope to restore this land to its former beauty and free your daughter from her terrible curse. Having spoken these words, the spirit disappeared. King Felashika could not believe what he had seen. Surely my mind is playing tricks on me. I'm afraid I have gone mad with grief. But the next day, a stranger appeared in the kingdom. Hey! <laughs> what a desolate place! Why has the spirit led me here? Guided by the light of the spirit, brave Duke Garland had journeyed many days to the land of Zeliard. Entering the castle, he was quickly escorted to the throne of the grieving King Felishika. Duke Garland, you must be the man of destiny whom the spirit spoke. I beg you to destroy the demon Jashin who has cursed my kingdom and turned my beloved daughter to stone. Duke Garland knelt before the king. Your majesty, I have followed the light of the spirit to this place. I know not of this demon, nor what powers he may possess, but if there is no one else who could defeat him, then I will dedicate my life to this task. For the first time since the sandstorm began, you have brought hope into my heart, Duke Goland. Duke Goland? My bad. May God go with you, etc., etc. Suddenly, the room grew cold. A black mist swirled around them and took on a hideous shape. Are you the fool who dares challenge me? Don't be absurd. And you must be the evil Jashin. You shall address me as the Emperor of Chaos. The Emperor of Chaos! Young fool, I could destroy you now, but I need a little amusement. I will give you some time to prepare for your little quest, but you must promise not to bore me. Of course, you have no hope of defeating me. Mark my words, evil one. I will not stop until I have reclaimed the nine holy crystals and sealed you under the earth once and for all. The demon laughed, and the sound was like breaking glass. My labyrinths are immense and run deep in the earth. You will soon lose your way, and then my underlings will finish you off. It's been many years since a stray mortal has wandered into their realm. They are hungry for human flesh. With that, Jashin disappeared, leaving echoes of ear-splitting laughter. You haven't seen the last of me, Jashin. Your reign of evil is near its end. At last, the door of destiny was opened. The labyrinths are deep and the way is long. Will Duke Garland be successful in dethroning the Emperor of Chaos? Probably not, because this game is really, really hard and I did not make much progress whatsoever. But hopefully, with your support and everybody watching me, I will I'll do just fine, Duke. All right, Duke, let's roll. Duke, can we go? Yeah, there we go. And here we are, I suddenly have a helmet now. I'm leaving. No, okay, fine. This game kind of reminds me of Fanaxadu in a way, or Faxanadu, what was it called, that, that Nintendo game? So there's two parts. There's the overworld, or the town scenes, which you can get a little bit of work done. Brave Duke Garland, you'll need money for your journey. I hereby bestow upon you 1,000 golds. 
Go to town and outfit yourself, and then make haste to the labyrinth to defeat the forces of Jashin. My kingdom and the life of my daughter are at stake. Good. Money, money, money. So it's kind of a cross between Dragon Warrior, Faxanadu, and... Oh, uh, the battle system... I don't know. I can't even place it. You can normally talk to all these townspeople, but apparently on this screen, for whatever reason, you can't. So there's a church you can go to. Oh no, this is the shrine where the queen princess lady is. Can't do anything with her because she's stone. They did a really fast job building this shrine to her though, I gotta say. And this kind of is like Adventure of Link kind of style, where you just kind of, oh God, I don't know, all these games. These, these games. Oh, you are the warrior I've heard about. My son Michael was a courageous warrior. He went into the caverns and was never seen again. Please be careful. I love the music in this game, by the way. I, I got the Roland working, so the Roland is kicking out the jams. May I be of service, sir? Yeah? All right, well, repair shield. I don't have one, but I can buy one. I think you can buy a weapon. A training sword I already have, or you can buy the wise man's sword, which I can't afford. But I can buy a shield. Uh, let's see, a clay shield. I don't know why you wouldn't go for the wise man's shield. Let's do it, it's only a hundred bucks more. Let's rock this wise man's shield. Yo, the wise man's shield, eh? That'll be 150 golds up here, all right? Yes, sir. Will be something else for you, sir? Nope, I am just fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, please come again. So your shield, because this, the game will drain your life really quickly. The battle, you don't have any invulnerability uh, frames. When you're doing this, so you can kill in like a nanosecond if you get cornered. Brave knight, whenever you're tired, come to this church. Brave knight, when you are fatigued from battle, why not rest a while? Let the spirit heal you. May God go with you, etc., etc. Alright, so I can go there for easy heals. There's a couple other shops in town, but nothing I quite figured out. There's a magic shop, but I don't think there's anything I can do with it yet. Oh, hello. Can I help you? All right, so there's Kenko uh, Margia Stone and Saber Oil. I don't know what these do, but I think there's an option for her to describe it to you. Oh, so you're selling something you don't fully understand. Well, thank you so bloody much. Don't know much about it, but I know that it increases the offensive power of a sword. Don't worry, it hasn't killed anyone yet. So I don't know if that's temporary or if, like, permanently raises the stats of it. I don't know. And then what's the other one? I'm assuming the Kenko Potion is probably a healing potion. Magia Stone. Protects the aura that living beings exude. Surrounds the aura to prevent interference from other auras and acts protection against... Okay, so it's a shield. You could have just said shield. Thank you so much. Well, bye. I do like how, like, when you're done, they actually animate her, like, going back to work. It looks like she's wearing little glasses, too. She reminds me of Luca from Chrono Trigger. Record your experience. Place to save on user disk. Will you continue? Yes, I will. Uh, I don't think there's anything else they can do for you. My master, the sage Yasmin, resides in the underground town. She is a person you can turn to if you are in need. Alright, and see power, I'm not strong enough yet, so I will just go outside. Alright, he's just telling me that, yeah, there's a bunch of keys scattered around the labyrinth, because that's the way games work. And speaking of the labyrinth, here we go! Da -da 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 this The battle music here, I love it. So we have our little shield. I just, I just want to listen to the music all day. It just pumps you up, like, just makes you ready. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so here's what happens. So you got your little guy. Space does a forward slash. You can duck and slash. You can also do a jumping slash, which does this. But what's cool about it is since there's flying enemies in this game, if there's, if the game knows there's something above you, it'll automatically do a little upward slash, which is amazing. But you can also do a downward slash, which does double damage. But I can't really use it very well because... Ah! Yeah, there we go. So the minions of the ancient evil are all... like, slugs. Yeah! 50 gold. So this is pretty much the way the game goes. It's just a hacky slashy, you find keys, you open doors, and that's... Ow, ow, oh, you see how quickly things can kill you here? Alright, I know where a couple of these chests are. There's a full recovery there, which I probably should not have wasted. Uh, uh, ow! All right. Oh, the shield's taken a big chunk of it. So I think I had 80 shield when I started, but now I only have... Yeah, you see how it switches the uh, sword stance there. I've never actually made much progress here. I just kind of experimented a little tiny bit. All right. And if eventually you'll run into these walls, these like ice slopes. You can't quite get up yet. 
You're close, but not quite. The game does not want you up there at all. And I also believe that the enemies in this game are infinite respawning, so... But, which is good, because that means you have an infinite supply of... of Alma. Which is nice. Ow, ow. So, yeah, it's pretty much just a key hunt, and then there's bosses at the end, I think. I've never actually seen one. Ow, these bats are murder on me. But I think whenever you want, if you can find the exit, you can just go out, recharge your health, and then you're fine. I'm gonna need some health really quick. Well, I'm here. Let's see, actually see if this works. Let's go out, and then we'll see if we can get a free heal at the church, and we'll go right back in. Oh, I can also trade my Alma for gold. Uh, let's see if that works. Uh, I forgot what this building was. Oh, that's the Sage. Okay, we don't gotta worry about that. But we will record our experience. Why not? We have figured out how to bring up my inventory, but I don't know how to do anything with it. We don't have any magic. We have nothing to wear. We have nothing to use. We just have a training sword. And seeing how this guy was supposed to be like this ancient hero coming out from wherever, uh, you think he has something a little bit more than a training sword. And no shield when he came to town, by the way. And these little vignettes in the corner also kind of remind me of, oh, what was it, uh, Carmen Sandiego in a weird way. This game reminds me of a lot of things. It's actually a very cool little game. All right, one almas to six gold. Okay, sure. Uh, is there anything I'm supposed to do with these almas otherwise than just money? I guess not. All right, go outside. All right, next stop is the church. Let's heal up our life. There we go, and full strength. Beautiful, done. All right, sorry. Oh, repair my shield. How much does that cost? 20 gold? Yeah, sure, go for it. Is there like a little animation of him doing it? No. All right, the your armor now complete. Now good as new. Hooray! All right, so what else does he offer? The wise man's sword. I need another 500 gold for that. So let's spend some time grinding, I guess. Here I come to save the day. All right, so it just takes, this game just takes a lot of practice. Ow, jeez. I, yes, a practice I really sorely need because I just got my ass handed to me by a frog. Just looks like a little pogo stick. We, hey, that does work. I figured out how to use the downward stab effectively. I am making progress, I is. Oh yeah, and then I just got my ass handed to me by a mouse. All right, fortunately, it looks like the sword has an owl, a nice long reach. Uh. So I could probably keep a little bit more of my distance. Oh, oh another door I can't get to. Grr. I should probably go back up and heal, because I do not want to lose half of my money. Don't kill me, please, slug. Don't, don't, don't. I need to heal. Uh, must get back to town. Which way is it? I think it's this way. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Yes, I made it, I'm alive. I don't have enough money for the sword yet, but I just need to, I just need to live. Stay alive. <laughs> And just because I have a feeling I'm going to die horribly in my next entrance, because I'm going to try and make it a little bit further in, I'm going to withdraw, I'm going to deposit all my money. Oh, he likes that. Yes, thank you for your money. All right, I got to start mapping out this dungeon. All right, I'm guessing the treasure in this dungeon is going to be like a special pair of shoes I need to climb up those little icy... Oh, God, three bats. They're going to murder me. Die! Bye, slug. Whoop. Oh, sa... Satone... Oh, there's a... Oh. There's a, t a door to the town up there. The underground town. Someone told me about that. Oh, but I need the boots to get there. All right. So that's like level two. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am so going to die. It does look like the... Yeah, they can. I was going to say, maybe they couldn't get past those little orbs, but they totally can. Oh, you know what? I should buy some potions. Alright, that's where the key was. Oh, man, I gotta go up and heal up again. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going up this the hard way. Alright, that'll cut my almas in half. Yep, there we go. Not a big deal. While you're unconscious, the spirits brought you here. Okay, be careful not to exhaust yourself in battle. Not be on your way. The spirits are looking after you. Ah, uh, alright. Don't have enough money to do anything, so that was a completely worthless exercise. Oh, at least it's nice and close to the cave. Away we go! Merk it, uh, frogs! Alright, I found a map of sorts, so this should help us out a little bit. Oh, yikes, and away! 
Okay, Murala. All right, so it looks like I mostly just need to go down and to the right. All right, so I think I see what happened. So I jumped across this like little hole I never made a pass before, and the map just loops. Like this is directly above where I was before. New territory, huzzah! Now I just have to not die here. Yep. Oh. Can I, can I? All right, well, that worked. Spikes don't hurt as much as I thought they would. All right, so I want to be up there. I see stairs. All right, and yeah, yeah. Sorry, mice. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, come on, I made it so far. Please don't kill me now. Don't, don't! I said not to kill me. Not. Bad bats. Or little dragons. Whatever you are. Oh, finally. Stairs. I found some. Where do these go? Yikes it away! Oh. New territory. Okay. This is probably going to be even more dangerous. Please be a full heal. <gasps> you are. Oh, thank you. Kevin to... Yeah, Kevin of Pelagro. Yes, good to meet you, Kevin. I don't see a lot of enemies here. And there's another pair. It's another store. Uh, I, uh, I, I want to explore here before I go. Because it looks a little bit safer than the last cavern. This looks suspicious. Aha. Ooh. Thank you for that. Lots of Alma. Now I actually have a reason not to die. Because I don't want to lose those. All right. So there's not much else here I can do yet. See you. I guess the stairs it is. Yikes! Head away! Alright, oh yeah, oh yeah, right into the lion's den, thanks. Got my full heal, it's completely wasted already. Oh, is my life increasing? If I just stand still, does my life come back? Let's watch that for a second. Yeah, if I just, oh, I don't have to do anything. I just stand still and my life just refills. Well, I'll just wait here for a minute. Looks like it goes up, what, every five seconds or so? Yeah, like seven or eight seconds it goes back up. Yeah, no big deal. All right, I was really worried about my health, but the game is surprisingly uh, lenient. Kind of proves my theory that the little souls kind of block them from going anywhere, so you can strategically use those if I can... Nope. Oh, yay. All right, there. All right, this... What's that sound? What's that sound? Is that the boss door? Yeah, it gets quieter the further I move away from it. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be a boss battle. I am in no way prepared for this yet, but in we go. God, I wish I could save state in this thing. All right, here we go. Time to get my ass beat, most likely. Oh, okay, it is not messing around. Encounter time. Oh, Jesus, okay. Let's learn this pattern. Well, his pattern is he lands on my head and kills me. Thank you, Mr. Vicious Spider Crab. Oh, all my Alma gone. God, I gotta find my way back there again? All right, well, let's bank what I have and let's do all that again. Oh, he gives me 200 bucks as a trade-in. How nice of you. There you go. Uh, nope. I'm good. Bye. All right, let's see if I'm considered to be strong enough to buy some magic yet. Uh, I could always buy some potions. Um, bank, no, who was it? That was the, oh, it was this guy. Call upon the spirits and your powers. Oh, holy spirits, purify your thoughts and grant me strength. Oh, the light of the spirits forced to forth. Oh, my power has grown. Huh? Is this how I level up? What's going on? I don't know what just happened. Um, but thank you. Uh, please save my game. Is it, I guess, just killing enough things or experience or time and then you go in there and you can level up and it increases your life bar a little bit? All right, well, that's, that's good. I like that. That's fantastic. Okay, oh, oh wait, 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 let's put my money away. Put your money away so you don't lose it. All right, so we have a slightly longer health bar and uh, oh, I should probably buy a shield before I go to that boss again. Nah, whatever, what are you gonna do? So, new health bar and new sword. Yikes, sit away! Yep, I gotta go all the way over there again. Oh, it's blue. All right, let's see how much of a difference this makes. A lot, okay, good. This is almost like required. All right, let's see if I can remember the way. Ah! Ow. All right, I'm feeling better about this. I should have brought a potion with me, but I didn't because I'm cheap and stupid. Oh wait, no, I don't have to. I can just stand still and nothing, and I just, I'm fine. 
All right, let's watch the health bar. Yep, there it goes. Just creeps on up if you just stand still. Do you have to stand still or does it do it all on its own if you run around? La 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 la. Nope, you gotta be standing perfectly still. And there we go. Ow, and there it goes. There we go. There's the gap I jumped. Up we go. Yeah, I know the way. Ow. Jerk. Aha, serves you right, frog. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just get my health back. Now, while I'm waiting, I did notice if you hit F9, you can select the speed. And if you change it to 9, yeah. But I wonder if that, that affects the internal clock. Yeah, look at my life go up. Cheats. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that for now. But you can also set it to like 2. And then just like, yeah, let's do it, blah. Which does make it easier, but also very boring. So we'll just set it to five, which is the normal. Come on, stop messing around. Oh no, I'm out of life again. Whatever will I do? Dum da 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 da. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, no! What have I done? What have I done? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> With that, that's good for the first part. Whatever. All right, so we know the trick, but we have to do it a little bit more judiciously than that. I'll see you next time. Good night, jelly beans. Good night.